to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, I saw something the other day, mm. and I just had never thought of it like this. Mm. It said, uh, do not confuse someone's free time with their availability. And I figured you could you could Ain't relate that to that. The mother freaking truth, man. Yeah, dude. Ain't that the mother freaking truth? Because I guarantee you, is that majority of people, y- the time that you get to do whatever you want to do for yourself or uh, by yourself, either either case, is the most important time that you have to yourself. Your free time is your most important time. Right, absolutely, right. and like, and sometimes you need time to yourself. And it's it's funny. I, when I read that, I was like, it's so funny that people will do things and hit you up and be like, "Hey, I know you're off on the weekend. Let's do this thing," <laughs> or "I need you to help me with this thing," or whatever. Nope. And you're like, man, that's pretty brazen, just to like assume that since I'm off work, that I got the space to just yeah. go out and help you like it, carry a couch. Yeah, because you know, like we sequester so much time off for work. We sequester time off to do like a grocery shop, clean, cook. Yeah, yeah. All I mean, anything. Everything. Yeah, go get haircuts. Take take packages back to Am- from Amazon. I mean, all this yeah. just little random crap. And I would have to say is that generally my favorite thing is just to sit sometimes and do nothing. You know, like I value that time just as much as I do any other time. So yeah, or people get offended. You're, yeah, because you just want to like sit in the chair and play on your phone for four hours and. <laughs> like that and that's what you want i'm do. offended it make, by it it makes you, you feel good like do it yeah yeah it's it's 100%. interesting 100 percent. um on the same note like uh you, you got to give a little bit of your time to other people man people are the thieves of time let that be said forever is that whether it be a girlfriend a friend a family member they just want to well but i mean suck a little a, bit of your time up but that's how you I think that's what defines who people are in your life. I mean, if you're yeah. willing to give time to them, then like then they're your friend. At that least. That part. That part. Because I know damn well all there's a million people that I know I give no time to. <laughs> that's so true. Right? Yeah, like, but I think that also can go the opposite angle of like if someone is giving you some of their time, especially if you know they're really busy. Mm-hmm. That you know that that you're at least that they at least value you in some way, right? Yeah, like that part, yeah. yeah. So if it's like if it's like one of your buddies that you hang out with, but like they're super busy, but you guys still get together once a month and go grab dinner or go whatever and just shoot the shoot the shit. Like, oh yeah, that, that dude's making time for me, my buddy. Like we're go hang out, whatever. Or like if there's a girl that you know that's super busy, but she still makes time to like hang out with you or whatever. You're like, oh, she must that, like at least think I'm all right. That's exactly why I don't get bent out of shape when people are uh like reluctant to do certain activities like on the weekends we might ask somebody if they want to go and do something i'll sit down i'll be like they probably won't but i did you know we did just trying to try to get that person to agree to a (laughs) timeshare essentially hey let us share this time together your most valuable resource because it's the only finite resource that you truly have in life can we spend that time together it's it's a business agreement, you know? It really is. It really and, is. And then people get offended if like then something comes up and they don't want to or can't. Like it's fine. And that's the thing. It's, it's like fine. if if you're like, hey, let's do this thing on Saturday, and they're like, Yeah. And then like Saturday comes and they're just like, Man, I'm just not really feeling it. I need some time to myself. Like yeah. people or, get mad. Or if that. they can't or if they can't go, you know, maybe they'd rather do certain other things with their time or Yeah, maybe, or even if they lie, but like, yeah, it's even just it's or maybe, or maybe that time is already allotted to somebody else. You know, somebody else already has that time, uh, that time slot that you're looking for. Yeah, dude, and it's it's just interesting how offended people get about okay. that. Like, there was a girl that I used to work with, and she would try to make arrangements to hang out with people from work, like in a group setting, not like individually. And then like would just get mad if people like that day couldn't do it, or like the week leading up. Like she tried to be like, hey, in two weeks, let's all go out and go get some drinks. And then like that week leading up, somebody with kids would be like, hey. I got to take my kid to like do this thing. I can't go. Then they would just nah, get mad. No, nah, they're lying. Well, right. And that's fine. <laughs> they're lying. Yeah, but it could even be anything, right? Or she was just, it would be funny that like if everyone didn't enthusiastically agree immediately and like said, hey, I need okay. to know, let you know that week. So that is where I I have to say is like, I, I do hate a flake. All right. Flaking is one of the most annoying things to me. Oh, I know. And you know me. I always say is that if there's one thing about me, if I say I'm going to go, I'm going to go. That's why I don't, I don't agree to go anywhere. Yeah. Unless, yeah. And like, 
you do sometimes though, but like yeah. it's something you know you're gonna want to do. Like right, you're yeah. like, oh yeah, I want to go do that. I'm gonna go do that for sure. Yeah, I, like, <laughs> like I remember I actually felt like some internal confliction. I remember we went to a we went to a house party. This was the house party where that married woman hit on me. And, oh, Super Bowl party. Yeah, okay. and we went to a house party with uh, another guy I knew from work. And we stayed there for the entire game. We had a good time. They were eating like some. Oh, uh, uh, they did a boil. They did a boil. So they're uh, not. Was it crawfish? Yeah, crawfish. Yeah, it was the most boil. disgusting thing I've ever seen. It's a bunch of like mini lobsters on a table and with potatoes like, and corn and yeah. with like newspaper and plastic wrap. I never want to eat that. I'm not eating off the table. Give yeah, me a it's... fork. Give me a fork anyway. and a plate. All right. Yeah, and that was actually a weird experience because and, neither of us knew the people's house we were going to, and no. your friend was not there for like the first hour when we no, got there. We just no. showed up like, "Hey, we know so and so," and they're like, "Hey," no, no. but like, it was chill. It but was then anyways. afterwards, I told him that I would go to a concert with him, and you were like, "No, nah, I think we should get out of here," and I caved. And then I remember on the ride home, I was like, "I told him I would go to that concert," and I felt like crap inside because I was like, "I just flaked out." I just spun him because I he, he was expecting me to be there. I didn't. Now he up. took a girl home with him. I mean, cool. So, I but I think you said went. you talked to him and he didn't even go. I mean, I still said I would go. You're not wrong. You are a flake now. Right. 100%. Right. Oh, <laughs> that hurt. I know. That hurt a little bit. You're like, if there's one thing I know, I'm not. It's a flake. And just for just for uh uh uh, God, oh my God, clarification, clarification. Yeah, like transparency is what I was looking for. I have definitely asked TNT to go do things, and and he'd be like, I don't know, I might go, I might not, and that's his way of like being like, I might, and that's. You know, some people say maybe, and it's always it's might as well just think it's a no. Yeah. Like with you, it really is a maybe, yeah. and I'm all, and I'll be like, okay, cool, I'm leaving at eight on Saturday if you want to go, and then like seven fifty five, you'll just roll out and be like, hey, I'm going, <laughs> and, and I'm out, like in an outfit, like let's right, go. and I'm like. You were you were ready when I needed to leave. That's perfect. Like that's great. That the, I think even the last time you did that was like Halloween or whatever. Yeah. And then I was like, hey, I might go. And then I come out like a costume. Yeah. Like <laughs> yep, I'm like, yep, exactly. And to me, that's totally fine because I'm like, you're more than welcome to come. I'd enjoy you being there and hanging out. But if I, I'm ready to go by myself, and then you walk out I'm like, oh sweet, you're going with you me. Awesome. Me, you sent me a text like I'll be leaving in about ten minutes, and I was like, uh, ten, five minutes later, I come out in a costume and we go out. Right, right, exactly. So that. it's, I mean, it's very much. So, but so, I, I think that's how people should do it, man. People are so afraid to like. People are so people pleasing. I still, I still think it's that flake flaking is that's, a, that's an asshole. Man. Yeah, I don't like. Don't agree to do something if you're not going to do it because you've built up expectations. Right. Oh If no, you're no. nervous about the situation and you just want to appease the person, then do that. Or I mean, then don't, don't, don't just say yes. Just say I don't know, man. We'll see. But don't if your maybe is going to be a no, then if you just know say your no. maybe's a no when you say yeah, maybe, just you're say no. you're you're not doing a service to yourself or the person. Yeah, just say no, man. They, they're just gonna have to eat that no. Because I've said maybe no, plenty, I got other and I really I don't know. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll go, maybe I won't. Yeah, like. But yeah, it's uh, I I very rarely ever flake. If like I'm kind of similar as you, like if I say I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Unless something comes up or like I really like I'm just not feeling good or something like that. Like, I mean, I, 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 there's, there's a person I've been hanging out with consistently for years. And like, we, we always hang out on the same day and he, and like, and sometimes on that day I get off work and I'm like, man, I really don't want to go hang out, but I still go hang out because like I've committed to go hang out right now. I have canceled and said, Hey, I really just don't feel good. I'm tired. I kind of want to lay down and that's always fine. But I feel bad when I do that, right? Like, I don't like doing that to anybody. What's, you, his, what's his name? What? What's his, his name is yeah, what's his, his name? name is Jonathan. Uh, no, it's right. a girl I've been seeing. I didn't so. know I didn't know you were cheating on me. Yeah, right. All the um, time. So, but you know, it's like I, yeah, I don't like you skank. I don't like I don't like flaking on people either. But I get Nah. It, and, but the thing that sucks too is like I know a lot of people who <laughs> will just say yes to appease people and then flake. Yeah. And, like, I 100% agree. When it comes time to do anything, I don't want to do it. <laughs> as soon as it's time to do it, I'm like, oh, my God, I got to get dressed and put on clothes, take a shower, get out of the house, drive. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Find an Uber, do this, get We there. were in the same improv class for a year, and every week you would come out and go, I don't want to go. I, I <laughs> every single week. Go. And then every week you'd be like, man, that was awesome. I had a great time. But every Monday, man, I don't want to go do this. I don't want right to do this now. bull crap, man. I don't want to <laughs> so, do that. Anyways, go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. We out.